man. Oh, man. Look. When I look at the Rocky movies and I think about who my favorite character was besides Rocky, it had to be Pauly. Like, I liked Adrian, but she was always kind of, she was his foundation, but she, she really, she kind of, at times, would keep Rocky from being Rocky, so that it's always kind of bothersome to me. But she, but, but Adrian's a good person, she's, you know, she's a wife, she's a worrying wife. I really liked Apollo. You know, the villains are like Clubber. Really like Clubber a lot. Drago. Drago's more like a monster than anything to me. Um, but when I just think about my favorite characters in there, man, Mick and Polly. Like after Rocky, it's got it's it's got to be Mick or Polly. And I think Polly might edge him out. And they were both hilarious. Hilarious. Oh man, he played that to the T. He was Pauly for me for the rest of my life. That is Pauly. If they were to ever reboot Rocky, which I hope they never do, because they probably they, there's no way they're gonna recapture that magic. Never say never, but oh man, they better get a good Pauly and don't reboot it now, because they'll do nothing but woke it up. But man, I loved him. This is how he pulled off the half drunk, half functioning, the a hole behavior. But then he would be good to him too. You know, he had a good heart too. You know, I mean, <laughs> Folly, man, I love Folly. Oh, man. Rocky IV, he had some of the funniest parts. I see three of them out there. Hit the one in the middle. Yeah, hit the one in the middle. That was so funny because Paulie was always drinking and he knew, you knew, he knew. It's like, yeah, when you start seeing three, hit the one in the middle. <laughs> yeah, it's just so funny, man. It's sad. He's gone, man. Um, You know, I think even a trailer, which is kind of crazy because the trailer just came out for Sylvester Stallone. Which I gotta check out. I'm gonna do a reaction to that. Um, you know, there's one for like Arnold on Netflix, and now, now they're doing a documentary on Sylvester Stallone, which I do believe is the greatest action star of all time at the moment. It's just his longevity, his legacy. He's still going. Like, to me, he is. You can argue, like, I know that I think the box office numbers say that Arnold is or whatever, but. To me, I think he is with his longevity and everything. Um, maybe Tom Cruise will surpass him. Maybe The Rock will. Maybe Will Smith. I don't know. But to me, Sylvester Stallone is, and he's the guy that I always was like, you know, if I wanted to pattern a movie career after anybody, it would be him. You know, there's other ones. There's other ones like Will Smith or The Rock or, you know, just you know, others out there. But anyway, Paulie was the ish. And if you're going to be typecast, you know, if you're going to become a character, you know, I know it can be a good thing and a bad thing for actors, you know. And, you know, I used to think about that because I used to think about, you know, I never really see him anything else because he's Pauly probably. Like, I don't know that. I never looked into it, but I'm like, he's Pauly. And who knows, maybe he made enough money off of that to where he never really had to, I mean, he is an iconic supporting character, man. Like, the the Rocky movies are arguably not as good without him. They are. He's that comic relief. He's the, he was the, you know, the, the, the bad family member. The family member that had problems. The dysfunctional family member. You know, violent, a drunk. Bad with money, you know, um, blaming his problems on other people. Like, yo, people know 
a poly. Everyone knows a poly or has a poly in their life. And he played that character to the T. Burt Young, best known for his role as Pauly in the Rocky film franchise, has died. The Oscar-nominated actor passed away in Los Angeles on October 8th. A cause of death was not disclosed. His manager told TMZ, Burt was an actor of tremendous emotional range. He could make you cry. He could scare you to death. <laughs> yeah. Young appeared in dozens of movies and TV shows during his decades-long career. Some of his most notable flicks are Chinatown, Once Upon a Time in America, Back to School, and The Pope of Greenwood. Oh, he was in Back to School. Forgot about that. He also landed parts in two hit TV programs, MASH and Beretta. I never watched MASH. You know, it's funny, as a kid, I hated the intro to MASH. I never liked that song, so I never watched the show. It's <laughs> all I needed. <laughs> Burt Young will always be remembered for most uh, most for playing Pauly, the rough and tumble brother-in-law of Sylvester Stone, uh, of Rocky Balboa. I don't sweat you. Yo, Thunder Lips, put him in the headlock. Bam! Tuck him out. <laughs> they starred together in each of the five Rocky movies from 1976 to 1990, as well as the final one in the series, Rocky Balboa. Young received an Academy Award nomination for his portrayal of Pauly in 1976. Oh, okay. But lost to Jason Robards as Washington Post editor Ben Bradley in All of the President's Men. And that's all we've got here. Man, rest in peace, Mr. Young, man. Burt Young, a.k.a. Pauly.